Hi guys, this is a trade video, number one. I've had to record this again because my iPhone can't, it's, I use the, the app, the editing app, it makes it go sort of like that screen, so it won't accept it. So I have to go back like this. <clears throat> I've had to reshoot the whole thing again. Like I said, it made it look like a normal, it wouldn't accept it on YouTube because of the quality. So if anyone knows, on the top of the screen up there, where it says the battery life, there's like a little padlock look with a thing that's saying locked, screen locked. How do I get it so it records that way? To get the camera to move because it's locked on that way for some reason. On my app and when I watch videos, but it records okay like this. I think it's okay like this. Anyway. So that's this is gonna be a shorter video because I've already unboxed it. But it wouldn't let me upload. So <clears throat> this is from Eastwood Eastwood for Life fan. He's a good guy. You should subscribe to him. The channel link will be below. If you want to see what I sent him for a trade, you'll have to watch his video when he uploads it. But this is what he sent me. <coughs> I mean it's two items. Now, I don't need to edit this because I've already unboxed it once, so I'm going to show again. So, I'm going to look surprised. This is the first item out of the box. And it is, wow, Christine. This is the Region 1 Best Buy exclusive pop art version, steelbook, of John Carpenter's Christine. I think this is actually printed on a steelbook. Yeah, this picture, that's not a J card, that's actually printed. You can't get rid of all that. So that's a good picture. The background. There it is there. John Carpenter brings Stephen King's best-selling novel to life in this chilling thriller. But I hate code when he works in America. Special features, commentary, and a few... Documentaries or featurettes. It's in its full 2.35 widescreen. I remember seeing this on TV in the early days. It scared the shit out of me with car. I haven't got this in my collection. This is, I've got a lot of Carpenter films, but this is, I have not got this one in any format. So it's great to have this in a steelbook. Thank you, Carlos. That is a great steelbook in itself. Worth what I sent you. This is the other item he sent me. Again, it was sent in bubble wrap, but I've already opened it once, so I can't be bothered resealing it all up again just to another video. But this is Clint Eastwood, The Good, The Bad, The Ugly. I think yeah, this is the um, this is the UK version, I'm sure. As the last time I did the video, I opened it up and it had a UK certificate on it. So I take it this is the UK steelbook. It's quite a shiny, like a me metallic feel to it, like the cliffhanger. And the packaging is much better than a stupid MGM packaging they did before with the like photoshopped picture of Eastwood. And a cheap white background that anyone could do on their computer. That was really crap quality covers they were. But this is great. Gold embossed. I'll have to see if I can get the other two like this now. This is the third in the trilogy. Eastwood is my second favourite actor after Bronson. They both kick ass. It's like I wonder what Eastwood would have made would have made of Death Wish and then what Bronson would have made of Dirty Harry. We will never find out. That's one of the things you could imagine. So this is a shorter video than the original because again I say I had to film it again. 
I uploaded it on YouTube and it was the wrong way round on the screen. And my phone will not let me turn it on the editing app I've got. So I've had to film it on the iPhone camera. Now I just hope this is the right way round. If it's not the right way round and it's like the other version, well, tough luck. I ain't filming this again. So I'm sorry if it's up the wrong way round. And Carlos, I hope you like the items I sent you. Can't wait to watch your video. And I've got another video coming later on tonight if I can film it. So stay blue and stay safe, guys. Thanks, Carlos. And thank you to all my subs. Please remember to hit the little bell and subscribe to me. It all helps. Thank you. Bye.